Hey guys, it's me, Ren, and also happy 2019, everyone. And so today's video is going to be a quick tutorial slash speed paint, and we'll be painting one of the iconic League of Villains in Boku no Hero Academia, which is Dabby. <laughs> So I did a poll a few days ago if you would like me to talk over my speed paint videos and as of recording this, 89% of you guys voted for Yeet and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Also, before I forget, thank you everyone for 7k subscribers. This is amazing and I hope you guys enjoy my content and to the new subscribers, welcome to my little channel and yeah i've been getting a lot of questions about art tips regarding painting and blending and stuff but for this video the most asked among the comment section in all my speed paint videos and gosh darn it i'm tired of seeing it which is hey ren so what brushes do you use man but where do you get those brushes <laughs> But like, oh, uh, like, how do you use the flat brush, bruh? I don't even, I can't even brush, man. Alright, so grab your tablets and open that Medibank painting software because I am going to show you how I get these brushes and talk about blending and also maybe some little techniques. <laughs> Medibank doesn't work like that, you dummy. No, it does not. Do not tell me it's the fancy brush set in the cloud. Oh, no, you do not. No. No. It's not. <laughs> Sorry to break it to you, sister, but believe it or not, but it is from the cloud. So, I'm a type of person who only uses default brushes made available from the application itself because I can't be bothered to make my own brushes and to customize them, which... I have no skills regarding textures, I just, you know, just use anything available for me to use. That's how lazy I am. So what I mostly use to paint on my artworks is the watercolor brush and the flat brushes because they have the ability to blend together nicely and I really love the texture of the flat brush. So as I play the speed paint video, I'll be talking about how I work with these type of brushes and throw in some tips for you beginner artists out there i hope it helps but yeah if default brushes provided by the app itself isn't your thing i could refer you to a different video tutorial by someone else i guess or you can just search it on youtube so yeah but if you want to hear my insights with these brushes feel free to stick around so I'll be talking about my process over the speed paint. First, I make a second layer under the sketch where I fill it in with the base colors. And I know y'all probably ask, Hey, so you know that might be easier in a grayscale, you know, just a blah 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 Blah. But hold up, for me using grayscale doesn't make my work appealing because the colors are so unsaturated and for me I guess doesn't pop out as much. I know I'm letting some art gods down but for me it's just not so mm, appealing in my case. Plus I know it also helps in color values and stuff which is really cool but I don't know, I just want to play around with colors, so... Yeah, I am already suck at this already, but please watch my videos. People have been asking about blending techniques and stuff like that. Okay, so I advise you guys to not use blur tool or smudge tools or whatever, because Jesus Christ, those would look terrible. I've tried those when I was and when I started digital art a few years ago, maybe the uh, seven or six years ago, and then I realized like, oh my god, this looks like crap. So I res resorted to do some experiment, and the usual thing to make your um, artwork blend or the colors to blend is basically. The base color and the shadow you'll be using so you put those two together 
slowly use the brush to smear it a bit at the center between the two colors which is the base and the shadow and once you got that little hint of fadiness onto or between the colors itself you can color pick that and then continue on brushing it away until it looks like it's blending itself so and regarding colors um you have to learn about color theory basically play around with the color wheel there's this thing like triangle shape thingy where three colors complement each other sometimes when for example when i shade the color red i use color blue for the darkness but a bit on the darker side like cool colors like warm and cool colors combined together it's really kind of how do i put this it's nice to look at than using black i know there are some schools that says like don't use black because it looks terrible it looks like crap and it probably doesn't suit well but sometimes i use color black and it's actually good but but there's a big but it doesn't um, make your artwork appealing. Like, you need that finesse. You need that color to pop. Like, you don't need that much darkness in your life. Oh my god, emo codes. Am I right? Mm -hmm. But, yeah. So, just refrain from using black as your shadow. Just play around the color wheel. And use the darkest tone from the color beside it or the color which is in front of it from the color wheel you can use it as your shadow don't use the lightest but use its darker shade for your shadow so just play around with the color wheel you'll know what i mean and yeah okay so i'm gonna talk about my i'm trying my best to talk more so i can talk really loud right now and i'm comfortable talking on the microphone because no one's home <laughs> yeah like hell yeah fam if you can't i know you guys can't see me but i'm doing a whip actually the hardest part about the speed paint was the freaking flames of death because i don't know how to paint flames so what i did is just use the airbrush tool and just use the the dark shade for the flames i guess using i don't know what you call it i just found it at the color wheel and just smeared it all over it and then put another um aqua ish blue mm, i don't get, i don't know and just put it over it and then there you go i got the flames of death and i hope it looks good i guess but i don't know <laughs> But I posted it a few days ago, and I guess you guys liked it, and I'm really happy you guys liked it. Okay, before I forget, I am rebranding myself as Seyrenka, so you can kiss true to yourself goodbye, because right now, I'm gonna be Seyrenka from here on out, until I die. There's a few of you guys who saw my new logo and a lot of you actually liked it even though it was a bit i don't know i just put letter s and just made an r and then oh it looks cool so this is my new logo yay so thank you everyone for being so supportive and yeah speed painting is over and time to wrap things up i don't know about my upload schedule so I'll just keep you guys up to date on my community tab and again thank you guys for 7k subscribers and also don't forget to subscribe share i don't know like this video i guess and also don't forget to follow me on my other social media accounts which is from instagram twitter my facebook page and my art station i guess if you guys want to check out my so-called professional art <laughs> still we're here in the end car yeah i don't know if you guys feel like sending me fan art i guess <laughs> just um uh message me or tag me of any of my social media accounts so i can put it on my end credits 
Thanks to Wichit for voicing over some of the lines needed for this video. I really do appreciate her help. And also, this is our first collaboration. Also, my first collab with another YouTuber. And also, I'll be collabing with her soon. We, we don't know when. But also, don't forget to subscribe to her channel. She needs to hit that 2k mark, fam. So, that is it. I would let Wichit talk about more of herself. Take it away, sister! So hi, I just finished recording this. If you haven't noticed, uh, this gracious voice that everyone likes to call the filthy Frank of art history in the making. So if you don't know who I am, this will be the, the thorough introduction, so... Hello, everybody! My name is Witchy, and I aspire to be the most generic art YouTuber. And as a generic art YouTuber, I'm helping out my friends. Thank you very much to Ren for letting me join in and be annoying. I'm sorry that the lines have been exactly three days late now. But if you want to know where you can find my content and my beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, phenomenal, quality voiceovers, you can go to my channel. You can uh, join the article just like your friend and lord and savior Ren. And also, who gets to listen to all my yelling. <laughs> okay. Sayonara, my dudes! <laughs> LOL, bye! Okay, bye bye. Hey, Ren! But, like, a hey, boss, like, a where you get those brushes, man? Maybe I should just keep it consistent. Okay. So, I'm gonna talk about. Oh, lip smacking.